Good, good evening, everyone. Hello, how are you today? How's everything? Hello, Diane. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Hello. Erica. Hello, Jessica. How are you? How are you today? Everything good so far? ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Cómo estamos? Okay, everything good so far? <laughs> or, or not so good? Okay. How are you today? How's everything? What do you remember about the last class, about the last week? Something you remember? Yes or no? Hello? Okay, uh, Brenda, Cecilia, what do you remember? Hello, hello? Hello? Hello, hello? Can me escucha? Can you hear me? Yes, Brenda? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Yes, good evening. Hello, hello. How are you? ¿Cómo están? I'm fine. Okay, excellent. Very good. Uh, so, what do you remember about the last week? ¿Qué recuerda de la semana pasada? Mm. Uh -huh. Algo que recuerde, cualquier cosa. Any word, any expression, any vocabulary. Uh -huh. Cualquier cosa que recuerde de la semana pasada. ¿Qué recuerda? Eh, estuvimos trabajando con los... Eh, con las preposiciones. Uh -huh. With the prepositions, yes. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. ¿qué más? Ajá, uh -huh. with the prepositions. What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Se recuerdan? Ajá, uh -huh. with the prepositions. Ah, sí, ¿verdad? With the prepositions. Y es, también subimos... ¿Me escucha? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Yes, sure. That's nice. Uh, so we were talking about the prepositions. And uh, we practice a conversation, right? Yes or not? Yes. Yes, the conversation. And the topic was, what was the topic the last week? ¿Cuál fue el tema que vimos la, la clase pasada? Hmm? Topic was, ¿cuál era? Se, se los olvidó. <laughs> okay. En, mientras se unen los demás compañeros, vamos a, a continuar. So, que, uh, vamos a ver si lo ven. No, ahorita no están viendo el, el PowerPoint presentation, ¿verdad? I, I haven't shared the screen with you. And right now, I'm going to share it. Okay, just give me a few seconds. Here we go. Give me a second, please. Stop share. Share. Ahí está. Ok, aquí vamos. ¿Dónde está? Aquí está. PowerPoint presentation. So we have the online English program. So as you remember. Here we go. Welcome to the English class, to the pre-intermediate module 2, online English program, the session, the fifth session, November 6, 2023. The general information, the schedule, Monday to Thursday from 9 to 10 visual classes and the agenda, greeting, welcome, general instructions, review, warm up, letters, the snapshot, conversation, grammar focus, uh, attendance, vocabulary, um, I didn't change over there, but we are going to talk about uh, also about the frequency adverbs, the platform exercise, the feedback, the closing and the, the advice. And so we have uh, the specific, the general objective and the specific objective. So we have asking for and getting information about simple past activities, talking about was, where, snapshots, grammar focus, complete some grammar exercises in the platform and identify activities in familiar scenarios and practice model dialogues for clear and personal conversations. Okay, and here we go with the agenda for today. So uh, the participants will be able to review the last session and ask and answer some personal questions about simple past. Participants will be able to practice was, where, and created conversation based in the model, complete reading exercises and listening, repeat some vocabulary expressions, complete some exercises in the platform, and feedback them, giving information about homework assigned, the childhood, to talk about your childhood, right? That, that, that was the homework. Esta era la tarea. Lo vamos a revisar almost at the end. 
I'm gonna talk about me as a child. I was shy, I was thin, my hair was very short. My favorite program was Hey Arnold. My favorite hobby was to ride my bike and so on. Okay, so uh, we're gonna move to the manual. In the manual, so in the manual, so we have, uh, okay, we're gonna continue with the grammar focus and the snapshots, right? Okay, give me a second. I'm trying to share it. Uh, this, uh, déjeme ver, espérame. Eh, a veces me cuesta eh, compartir. Cuesta la tecnología. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, take, give me a second, please. Just give me a second. Now, here we go. So, just give me. Okay, just permítame. Okay, now, in the last session, we were talking about simple paths using was and where, right? Permítame. Give me a second, okay? Me recuerdo que también les habíamos dejado este de tarea. Now, listen to the grammar focus. We're going to listen this part. Just give me a moment. I am going to look for the audio uh, for playing. I'm going to play it. Okay, the grammar focus. Intermediate, right? I think it's this one. Ah, no lo voy a poder escuchar si no le doy Optimize Script, ¿ok? Eh, escucha, ¿verdad? A ver, quiero ver. Ok, just give me a second. Page 45, exercise 3. Grammar focus. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Okay, so over there you have a, this one, right? This part. So uh, the last session, I remember that I tell you, if you have a, a close a question that they start with did, in the short answer, you have to use did, right? Or the negative didn't. Did you work? Yes, I did. No, I didn't, right? Uh, I worked all day. In the bear in past, you're gonna use it in affirmative sentences, right? The bear in past, you're gonna use it in affirmative sentence, word. I worked all day, it says. I worked all day, okay? I worked. And the ED has three different pronunciations. In this case, it's a, as, a, as a letter T, word. I worked all day. When you use didn't for didn't, so work, uh, come back to the base form. I didn't work at all, right? So when you have a what, how, how often, so they are uh, open questions. So this, this you have closed questions. And when you have what, how, how often, they are open questions. So uh, you need extra information in the answer, right? What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? How? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends, right? Y me recuerdo que les había dejado eh, este de tarea. Me recuerdo, no sé si estoy equivocado. Okay. Okay, the homework, uh, for example, I'm going to help you with the number one. And in the, oops, uh, okay, in the number one, so you have a, uh, here a blank, you stay home on Saturday. What is the answer for the number one? Uh -huh. did, did, did you, did you stay? Stay, uh, stay home on Saturday, right? Did you stay home on Saturday? No, I call, I call my friends. Uh, we, okay, give me a second. Okay, I call my friend. We, we, what is the pass of drive? Draw. draw, right? We draw, that is here, right? Drive, draw. 
we draw uh, to a cafe for lunch. Okay, the number two, how auxiliary you did blah, you? How did you spend? Spend. 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 So you spend or spend? Sp spend. With the letter D, right? Come back to the base form for D. Vuelve a la normalidad por el, el D. Spend your last birthday. Mm -hmm. I, what is in this? I, huh? I had or I, I had? I had. I have. I had a party. Excellent. I had a party porque tenemos la de entre las dos vocales A, la del pasado de had, had. I had a party. Everyone, what is for this? En esta, ¿cuál sería? Enjoying. Ajá, uh -huh. enjoyed it, right? Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Everyone enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Uh -huh. Every, en, regular verb. Es un verbo regular. Enjoyed it. But enjoyed the next words is negative. Don't, it's negative. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo, ¿Cuál usamos el negativo para el pasado? Not like the noise, pero mi vecino no le gustó el ruido. How do you say that in English? Didn't. Excellent. Didn't, right? Didn't like. Eh... Okay, Karen, Stephanie. No problem. No problem. Okay, so, uh -huh. Okay, no problem, Karen, Stephanie. Eh, so, uh, no like the noise. Okay, the number three. What? But what? <laughs> uh -huh. What auxiliary? Did. Did. Uh -huh. What did? Did you? You. Uh -huh. you. Y aquí cuál sería? Do. 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 Pero si la pregunta es pasado, ¿por qué no va el va did el pasado de do aquí? Auxiliary. What did you Por. did? For? Porque es el auxiliary. Ajá, uh -huh. for, for the auxiliary, o sea, el verbo vuelve, el auxiliar en pasado did, el verbo principal vuelve al presente, ¿verdad? Vuelve a su forma base. Uh -huh. Last night, what is this answer? ¿Cuál sería esta respuesta? So. I saw a 3D movie of the Cineplex. ¿Y aquí cuál sería? Love it. I loved it. I loved love it. it. Loved it. Termina, la E es muda. Entonces tomamos en cuenta la V. Y como termina en V, es, la E de se pronuncia como una D. I loved it. Right? I loved it. Eh, aquí hay otro ejemplo. Por ejemplo, work termina en K. Entonces eh, la E de se pronuncia como una T. Work. I work, work. Invite. Y no decimos invite, ¿verdad? Invite termina en letra T. Entonces, ¿cómo termina en letra T? Porque la E es muda. Entonces se dice I, invited. Invited o invited. Ok, study mm -hmm. termina en Y. Por la Y se dice study. Study, mm -hmm. ¿vale? Como una D. Esta es como una D. Esta es ED y esta es T. Y stop termina en P, así que es explosiva. Stopped. En, en pasado, stopped. No stopped, ¿verdad? Ok, the number four. Eh, here, did, did you do do anything special over the weekend? Yes, I, short answer. Yes, I. Um, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Ajá, la respuesta, respuesta corta porque es pregunta cerrada. Eh, I, el pasado de go. When? I when? went shopping. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I, el pasado de spend, porque es una oración positiva. I spent. Spent all my money. Now I'm broke. Estoy quebrado. Estoy sin dinero. I'm broke. Now the number five. Broke. Yes, I'm Did broke. You go? Did you go go out on Friday night? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Right? No, I didn't. I the password invite. Invited. Invited. I, I invited friends over, right? I invited or invited friends over. Oops, still. Okay, and I the password the word cook. I cook. cook, cook. I cooked dinner cook. for them. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Entonces tenemos cook en presente, que sería la K, cook. Pero en pasada es como tener la K y una T, cooked. 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 Uh -huh. Ok, mm. question so far. ¿Tiene preguntas? Esta era una tarea, ¿verdad? ¿Tiene preguntas mm. con esto? Oh, no, no questions. Picha, yo tengo una en la ¿Sí? B. ¿En la? Porque dice café uh, for lunch. Sí. Ah, el café es el café es como el Starbucks, como el coffee cup. El café, eh, no solo venden café, sino que también venden eh, empaderado, empa, de sándwich. <ríe> sándwich mm -hmm. y pan, de, o sea, pan con carne, pan con pollo. Ok. So it's um, like a, it's like a, a café, it's like a la tecleña, a café is like William. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, ok, ya lo entendí. Gracias. You're welcome, anytime. Ok. Ok, we are going to move. Ok, the reduction of did you. Did you, right? So you have the reduction of this. Did you. Did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? Pero mire que tenemos aquí la, la vocal... Eh, tenemos la vocal, oops, este hola. Tenemos, we have the vowel A and the vowel I. ¿Y qué tenemos entre medio de la vocal este, A y I? Uh -huh. The letter T and D. So you can pronounce this as a letter R. What did you do last night? What did you do last night? It's okay. But the American people say, What did you do last night? What did you do last night? Sounds fluent sounds uh, more natural right what, what did you do last night instead of what did you do last night it's uh, also the same here how did you like the movie so you can say it how do you like because you have a, the w the d between two vowels uh -huh. how do you like the movie right what what did you do last night how do you like the movie and so i have a message thank you so much okay karen stephanie no problem So you have a how oops, sorry. How do you how do you like the movie? How do you like the movie, right? Okay, that's good. Uh, listen this part. Okay, vamos a escuchar esta parte. Give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna close this. Okay, that is the reduction of I think it's this. Give me a second, give me a second. Okay, I need to check here. Page 45, exercise four, pronunciation. Reduction of did you. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how did you is reduced in the following questions. Uh, ¿Le escuchan? ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? How did you like the movie? Okay, listen one more time. Escuchamos una vez más. Exercise four, pronunciation. Reduction of did you. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how did you is reduced in the following questions. Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? How did you like the movie? Okay, so this sounds like a, a key. In this case, it's like a R, right? What did you do last night? How did you like the movie? How did you like the movie? Right? Suena más natural y suena más rápido. How did you like the movie? Do you have any question with this reduction? ¿Tiene preguntas con esta no. reducción? No. La segunda la puede decir más despacio. What did you do last night? What did you do last night? What Thank you. you. Do? You're welcome. Ok, no problem. What did you do last night? Escuchamos la última vez. A ver si me corto la... Pero lo voy a volver... Porque al, al, al volverlo a escuchar, a veces se queda como cortado. Ahorita. Give me a second. Here we go. Page 45. Exercise 4. Pronunciation. Reduction of 
did you? Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how did you is reduced in the following questions. Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? Okay, what did you do last night, right? How did you like the movie? How do you like the movie? Esta como una R también, ¿verdad? How do you like the movie? What did you do last night? Okay, so we're going to continue with, uh, with this. Ah, uh, well, with this one was and where. So we're going to finish with the past, simple past. Okay, now listen. You're going to listen. And you're going to tell me what you listen. Va a escuchar y me va a decir qué es lo que escucha usted. Okay? So, si no me equivoco, es esto. Que me, que me tapa esto. Okay. I think it's this, if I'm not wrong. Only listen, only just listen, and you're gonna tell me what you listen, right? What did you do last night? Oh no, it's not this one. Okay, give me a second. Okay, this, this. Here we go. Page 47, exercise nine, conversation. How was your vacation? Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was... Okay, something you listen, any word, any expression, cualquier expresión. Okay, alguna cosa que escucho? Something you listen? Weather. Weather, excellent, very good. Weather. How long did you there? How long? Okay. Now listen again. Okay, listen again. Exercise nine, conversation. How was your vacation? Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy a lot, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. Okay. What else did you listen? Something you listen? Something else? Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Excellent. Uh, Lucky practical you. Surf. Okay. Surf. Lucky, uh -huh. you. Mm -hmm. Lucky you. Amazing. Lucky. Uh -huh. Lucky amazing. you. A lucky you, yes. Lucky not really? You. Not really? Uh -huh, not really, yes. It's mm -hmm. lucky you, no lucky you. <laughs> okay. So, Surfing okay. Is not, lucky. Excellent, very good. Okay, now look at how, this how conversation. How was your vacation? Uh -huh, how was your vacation, right? Escuche la pronunciación de vacation. No es, una, no es vacation. Ahorita vamos a ver la, la... We're going to look at the conversation and you're going to read. Read and look at the conversation, right? Ponga, presta atención que es, no dice vacation, me fui muy allá. No dice vacation, sino que dice vacation. Okay, listen. Page 47, exercise nine, conversation. How was your vacation? Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy a lot, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Okay, so, do you have any question with pronunciation or vocabulary? ¿Tiene preguntas con la pronunciación o el vocabulario? 
Happen. Sorry? Happen or happen? Happen. 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 Yes, happen. happened. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So you have a vacation, right? Vacation, no vacation, right? Vacation. Casi como que si va a decir una ex, pero no dice una pura. Vacation. Had a great time, vacation. right? In this, we had a great time. In this one, lucky you. Lucky you. About a week. About a week. Tenemos la tendencia de las de vocales. About a week. Not really. Como que si fuera una. Not really. Amazing, increíble, eh, fantastic. Uh -huh. It's a synonym for fantastic, a synonym for incredible. Amazing, right? Amazing trip, es excursión. Este trip es excursión, a synonym for eh, un viaje, ¿verdad? Waves, aquí tenemos waves. So, as you can see here in the picture, in the picture you can see the waves. He's surfing on the waves, right? And he's surfing, surfing on the waves, right? It's the waves were amazing in the sea. At the beach, you can see the waves. Is clear? Yes? In, the, in this picture, you have the waves, right? This one. Is clear what is the meaning of the waves? Yes, teacher. Okay, la sola, the waves were amazing. Okay, lucky you, que suertudo, right? Now, listen the pronunciation. Hi, Don, how was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy a lot. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. What was the best thing about the trip? Okay, do you have any question about pronunciation? No. Okay, no questions. Vamos, voy a hacer los breakout rooms para practicar la conversación. Okay, in the breakout rooms, I am gonna send you, I am gonna send you the invitation. Si escucharon, si escucharon el, el audio de la conversación, si se escuchó bien o no la escucharon. Sí, se escuchó. Ah, va, está bien, perfecto. Okay, so right now we are 26. Okay, four or five participants. Vamos a ver aquí. Okay, uh, le voy a mandar la imagen de la conversation. Vamos a ver aquí a uh, Blanca Esmeralda Mendoza. Are you here? Está por aquí Blanca Esmeralda. Blanca Esmeralda. Okay, no se va a ir ¿Sí? al breakout room. Se queda, se queda por acá, por favor. Okay. Okay, no se vaya al breakout room. Okay, eh, quiero ver aquí. Okay, so uh, can we get más? Okay, can we get Juan Alberto Fuentes? Are you here, Juan Alberto? Sí, teacher. Okay, se queda. No se va a ir al breakup room. Vamos a ver. Wendy Lizette Hernández. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Wendy. Hola. Okay. Here. Okay, no se va a ir al breakup room. Ahí tienen la ¿Cómo se llama? Okay. La invitación para el breakup room. Les mando la foto aquí al grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, quiero ver de 9 a 10. No es esta. I'm going to send you the picture. Si alguien la puede proyectar, pues la proyecta ahí en su grupo. Si no, no, no problem. La voy a ver desde aquí de WhatsApp. Ok. For practicing okay. the conversation, right? Practice this conversation. Ok. It's in the WhatsApp. Okay, so here, there you go, the, the conversation. Eh, vamos a ver, en el, okay. en el room number one faltan varios que se unan. Eh, falta eh, Yolanda y Emilena Andrade, falta Karen Stephanie Carvajal, Blanca Esmeralda Mendoza, que se unan con Jennifer y Ana. Eh, Juan Alberto le dije que no se fuera, ¿verdad? Stephanie Lizette Campos, falta que se una a su breakup room. Eh, quiero ver, ahí vende... Blanca, Blanca dijo que no. Ah, sí, pues Blanca no. Sorry, Blanca. Blanca no, ¿verdad? Ah, pues se lo cargue Stephanie. Stephanie Lizette Campos, también falta que se una. ¿Cuál? Le dije que no, ¿verdad? Wendy Lizette Hernández. Le dije que no, ¿verdad? Yancy yeah, Stephanie. Ya, ok. Yancy Stephanie, falta que se una. También Ingrid Stephanie Sosaderas. Join to the breakup room. Allí lo van a practicar en parejas. 
Sandra Maritza Violante de Arevalo, ¿ok? Falta que lo practiquen. Ok. Now, here we go. Yes. Ok. Eh, so, uh, vamos a ver. Uh, can you practice, please? Lo de los que están aquí, ahorita. Vamos a ver. Give me a second. Eh, Wendy Lisset, can you, can you be Celia? Y Juan Alberto, can be done, please? Ok. I uh -huh. am Celia. Ok. Uh -huh. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? I was vacation. excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the water okay? No, really. It was cloudy a lot. But we, we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. Mm -hmm. So, okay. what was the best thing about the trip? Well, sometimes it's incredible happens. Okay, excellent. Very good. Nice. Okay, now can you practice the conversation, please? No sé si Liliana Abigail está disponible. Lili? Hello. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Very good. Okay, Liliana, no sé si Eri y Blanca Esmeralda, ¿será que pueden practicarlo? Empieza Liliana, <laughs> es Cilia. Okay, y Blanca es Don. Okay. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a we had a great time. Had a great time. Look to how long were you there? About a week. Ay, no sé cómo se dice. Uh -huh. eh, about a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Fantastic. Was the weather okay? No, really. I was cloudy a lot, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about that trip? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, okay, a little bit. So, something incredible happened. Something incredible. Okay, I think. Incredible uh, happen. Something incredible happen, right? Okay, very good. ¿Quién ha practicado de aquí? Voy a cerrar los breakout rooms ahorita. Okay. Uh -huh. Who hasn't practiced right now? ¿Quién ha practicado de los que están aquí ahorita? Todos practicaron ya. No me faltan, ¿verdad? Eh, Wendy Lisset ya practicó, ¿verdad? Uh, Stephanie yeah. Lisset Campos. Hello, Stephanie. Are you available or you told me in the WhatsApp that you were not, you couldn't be available today? Oh, no me acuerdo. Okay. So, okay. So remember that in the pronunciation. Ah, yes. I give me a message. Ah, okay. Erika Lisa Garcia. Okay. No problem. Uh, okay. Juan Carlos Escobar Valle. Do you have any question about the pronunciation or everything is okay about the conversation? Hello. Uh, how do you say incredible happen? Happen. Uh -huh. Okay. Something. Something incredible happened. Something incredible happened. Incredible. 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 Uh -huh. Incredible uh, happened. Yes. Ah. Okay. Erika Lisset. Eh, hola, yo. Okay. Erika no ha practicado. Voluntario que le ayude a Erika Lisset practic a practicar. Volunteer. Me. Okay. 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 Hello. Erika, uh -huh. Erika empieza. Erika Cilia y la persona que dijo mi es Don. Okay. Hi Don. How was your vacation? I was excellent. Went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Look at you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. 
Was the weather okay? No. Lo voy a hacer más grande, está muy chiquito. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, yes. Sí, okay. No really. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. I <laughs> Gracias. Ay, ¿dónde me quedo? ¿Dónde está? Ah, fantasma. No. Yes. Not really. Uh -huh. Not really. Uh, not really. I was cloudy a lot, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, sometimes incredible happened. Okay, very good. Excellent. That's, that's, that's very good. Something, right? Something incredible happened. Eh, aquí hay, siempre tengamos cuidado cuando digamos el it o el I. Recordemos que el it lleva una T, ¿verdad? Es it. Y si no lleva la T, es yo, es I, ¿verdad? It. Okay. A veces porque es pequeño, no se ve, ¿verdad? Dije I once, ¿verdad? Es ok, está bien, no problema. Had a great time, right? Had a great la time. Está muy chiquita. Sí, es cierto, ¿ok? The weather, ¿ok? Was the weather ok? Was the weather ok? Okay, uh, so we're gonna continue. We're gonna move on. Then you have we have uh, the um, verb to be, the past of the verb to be. The past of the verb to be is was and where. Uh, the sound happened. Happened is a D. Uh -huh. Okay, happened, right? Uh, so uh, we have uh, this one, the past of the, uh, the verb to be. Oops, so we have uh, this. Eh, creo que se ve. Ok, you're going to listen this part. Give me a second. Grammar focus. Here we go. Page 47. Exercise 10. Grammar focus. Past of B. Mm -hmm. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Okay. So contractions. Uh, are the contractions que no la ven? Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. Okay. Very good. Allí me está preguntando la pronunciación de happened. Happened es con de. ¿Por qué esconde? ¿Dónde está? Mm, pues lo siento en callado. Pasado. Sí, en pasado, pero no lo hallo. Eh, happened... Está abajo. Ajá, al final. Lo que está de verde. Ah, aquí ya lo vi. Ok, so, ajá. Uh -huh. Well, something incredible happened. Con esconde, ¿por qué? Porque termina en N. Y este, cuando termina en N, la, y si es verbo regular, la ED se pronuncia como una T. Happened, como si no existiera esta E, ¿verdad? No es happened, ¿verdad? Es happened, es happened, 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 ¿ok? Es con D, porque terminan en Now, so the past of the verb to be. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. ¿Estuviste tú en Hawaii? Sí, yo lo estuve. Was the weather okay? ¿Estuvo el clima bien? No, it wasn't. No, no lo estuvo. Yes, it was. Sí, lo estuvo. Estas son preguntas eh, cerradas porque puede contestar yes I was, no I was, yes you were, no we weren't, right? Entonces cuando tiene how long o una eh, pregunta how long, how often, how, where, what time, what, estas son preguntas abiertas porque le está pidiendo mayor información, ¿verdad? Recordando que el was y el where no tienen nada que ver con el, ver, con el did, con el auxiliar did. Para hacer la pregunta con este, con el was y el where, solo lo pasamos al principio, como usted lo puede ver aquí. No usamos el did. Con was y where, nunca usamos el did, ¿verdad? Las contraction for son wasn't y weren't. Wasn't y weren't. Vamos a ver, vamos a look up this. Bueno, ya, ya son las 9.39. Qué rápido. Ni, ni sentí en qué, en qué momento se me fueron los 40 minutos. No, complete this conversation, then practice with a partner. Now, here you have, uh, si recordamos que solo vamos a utilizar was y where, en esta, en la number one sería was o where. Where, 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 where is Los Ángeles this weekend? Ajá, excelente. Where you in Los Ángeles? No, I. No. 
No hay no, was. No I wasn't, right? No I wasn't. Excellent, very good. I I was I, I was in San, in San Francisco. San Francisco. How? How? How was? How was, was it? How was it? How was it? It was was it was uh -huh, it was great, but it was foggy it's and cool what? as usual. Foggy is this, meaning foggy is this. This is foggy, perfect. Is uh foggy is like for example in in los planes de rendero is foggy, foggy foggy is um, a synonym for when you que no hay el de dibujar. <laughs> foggy is uh this as you can see here. Qué raro. Okay. Aquí está. Foggy is this. This is foggy. So for example in los planes de rendero is the is foggy here in the golden bridge so uh you have uh in the golden gate bridge is foggy so you can it's like similar cloudy but the cloudy is of the sky here right this is cloudy pueden ver los los dibujos los machotes que estoy okay cloudy is here and foggy is here okay foggy right foggy fog foggy is uh, similar to cloudy but cloudy is of the sky and foggy is in the land. It's here. Foggy is in the ground. For example, what? in La Puerta del Diablo, it's foggy. Yes, foggy. Uh -huh. Foggy is that. Neblina. Fog and neblina. Foggy, neblinado. Y cloudy, nublado. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> so, the number one. Can you practice the number one? Aquí voy a, voy a escoger voluntarios al azar. <laughs> porque eh, porque se, me, se, me, se me acaba el tiempo y nunca van a... Ok, Ricardo, puede ser la eh, letra B. Eh, quiero ver, Ricardo, ¿será que puede ser la letra B? Number y one. Es, yes, de la number one. Y quiero ver, este, Evelyn Janet Marroquín, puede ser la letra A. Sí. Ok, en la number one. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Were you in Los Ángeles last weekend? No, I wasn't. I was in San Francisco. How, how was it? Huh? It how? was great, but uh -huh. I, it was. But it was foggy and cool as usual. Excellent, nice, very good, excellent, very good. Okay, the number two. How long your parents? Your parents seria was or seria where? ¿Cuál sería yeah. ahí? Where? Porque son, son los papás, son, son, son dos, ¿verdad? Yes. How long were your parents in Europe? Uh -huh. Europe, Europe. They, they were there for two weeks. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta para hacer con they? Where? Were they? In London. Yeah. In London the whole time. No, they? Where? No, they Wait. weren't. No, they weren't. Wait. They also went to Paris. They also went to Paris. Number three, you away last week. ¿Cuál sería aquí? Uh -huh. Was. Ah, uh -huh. sería, was you away last week? ¿Así quedaría? Was you away last week? ¿Aquí? ¿Con you? Where? Where yeah. you? Uh -huh. Where no, was. No es was, ¿verdad? Was solo va con I, con he, con she, con it, cuando es una persona. Y where va con you, con we, con they. Were you away last week? Away, away, away last week. Yes, I? Was. I was yeah. in Istanbul. Really? How long? Huh? Where? Were you there? How long were you there? For almost a week. I, I was, was there on business. I was there on business. 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 Negocios. Business. Away. Uh -huh. Business. Away. Business. Away. Okay. So very good. Right now we are going to move on. Do you have any questions? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta con eso? No. No. No questions? Ok, ahorita nos vamos a mover a esta, la unidad 8, rapidito, porque necesito que eh, vayamos eh, trabajando esos, ¿verdad? 
Entonces, eh, okay. So here you have about places. So the question is, oops, qué grande está. What's your neighborhood like? What's your neighborhood like? For example, you can ask the question, what's El Salvador like? What's Guatemala like? What's Honduras like? What's eh, your mother like? ¿Verdad? Entonces, en estos casos, que el like hasta el final no significa gustar, ¿verdad? Significa cómo. En este caso significa cómo. Eh, ¿Cómo es tu vecindario? What's your neighborhood like? ¿Cómo es tu vecindario? Entonces, tenemos ahí, <coughs> tenemos, we have a different places. And so, for example, in, it's normal to have different places in your neighborhood. Match the words and the definition. Then ask the answer, the questions with the partner. What's a barbershop? What's a grocery store? Uh, is a place where you wash and dry clothes? Is a place where you buy food? Is a place where you buy cars and paper? Now, for example, the number one. Aquí voy a ir escogiendo al azar porque si no se me acaba el tiempo y no, no, y no me salen voluntarios. <laughs> okay, Adriana Grajeda. ¿Será que puede leer la pregunta uno? What's a... Please, Adriana. Okay, teacher. Hmm. What's a barber shop? Bar barber shop. Excelente. Eh, Ana Elizabeth Campos, ¿será que responde? It's a place where you. A barber shop It's is. It's a place where you. Uh -huh. Get a. Get a haircut. 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 Uh -huh. Repita for me. Como uh -huh. tiene la T entre dos vocales, es una error. Get a. Get a. Get a Haircut. 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 Es como una A, ¿verdad? Haircut. Haircut. Get a haircut. Get Excellent. A haircut. Now, now, what's a grocery store? A grocery store, aquí lo tenemos a la par. Grocery store. Can you ask the question, please? Eh, quiero, uh, eh, Ana Guevara, ¿será que puede hacer la pregunta dos? What's a grocery store? What's a grocery store? Ajá, y diga yo solo la respuesta, por favor. It's a place where you... Mm. Aquí está no. ya, ya unido. De, de rojo está unido. It's a place ah, where ah, you... It's a place where you... Sorry. Ajá. Perdón. It's a hey, it's you. okay. It's a, a place where you buy food. Excellent. Very good. The number three. Okay. Quiero ver quién me ayuda con la tres. Eh, Arely Janet Cornejo me ayuda con la tres. What's a laundromat? Eso va a preguntar. What's a laundromat? Excellent. Very good. Nice pronunciation. Brenda Cecilia le puede contestar en la tres. A uh, Arely. Okay. I don't know. Uh, wash a dry closet. It's a place where you wash. It's a place where you wash a dry and dry dry clothes. Okay, excellent, Close. very good. Clothes, right? David Rafael Ramos, uh, hace la pregunta de library, please. What's a library? David Rafael. What's a library? It's a place where you uh, borrow books. Ajá, library no es librería, ¿verdad? Es biblioteca. Ok, Jessica María Molina, ¿será que nos ayuda con el stationary store? Que es letter C. Stationary store. Jessica. What's a stationary store? It's a place where you. It's a place where you. Buy cars. Buy cars. Uh -huh. By cars and papers. Excellent, very good. Feeder, feeder, right? Jorge Francisco nos ayuda con feeder, please. It's a place where you see a movie or play. Uh -huh. Yes, please. Uh -huh. Jorge Francisco, no. Juan Alberto Fuentes nos ayuda. By Yes, uh, theater. Theater, theater. Uh -huh. theater. Uh, it's a place where you see the movie or play. Excellent, right? Una obra es un play, ¿verdad? Juan Carlos López nos ayuda con travel agency. Please, travel agency. Okay. 
Okay. What's a travel agency? Uh -huh. It's a place where you? It's a place where you uh, make reservation for okay. a trip. For a trip. Excellent, right? Do you have any question with vocabulary so far? Tiene preguntas con vocabulario? Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, uh, think what is a grocery question? store? A grocery store is like a, a Noxo in Mexico. A grocery store here is like a is a small super selectos, is a small mm -hmm. defensor Don Juan, is a small One, a dollar, dollar city. <laughs> dollar city. Like Dollar City, uh -huh. Like Dollar City. In Yeah. Okay, yeah. thanks. Como tienda de comestible. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it's a store. It's a store. It's like a needable store. It's like a needable, uh, where you can buy eatable items for a, uh, where you can buy eatable items, okay? Now, for tomorrow, you're going to write these definitions. Ya solo me quedan 10 minutos. Para me, va a escribir definiciones para estos lugares. Clothing store, drug store, internet cafe, music store, post office. For example, the clothing store is a place where you find new fashions. Clothing store is a place where you can buy clothes, right? Como like Prisma Moda, like, eh, ¿qué más? Eh, Simán is a clothing store. Eh, ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Eh, ahí. La tarea de la... Es esta misma, mira. Está en la página 10, ¿qué página? 50, page 50. En la page 50, you have a this uh, right definition for these places, right? Se ve un poco borroso, yo sé. Pero uh, ahí está, ¿verdad? Entonces le voy a mandar esta imagen que se mira un poco mejor. Eh, la tarea de hablar sobre las niñas, de los su niñas, sería para, eh, para mañana, porque ya no quedó tiempo, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a ver, eh, vamos a pasar ahorita en estos minutos a la plataforma. Si sí, you have any question about the platform, ahí se los mandé. Eh, vamos, we're gonna move on en estos nueve minutos que me quedan. No tienen ni preguntas, no. No questions, no. No questions. No question, teacher. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, here we go. Y vamos. Déjenme que a veces me cuesta. ¿Sí? Aquí vamos. The platform. Let's move on to the platform. Now in the platform, for this week, you have to finish with the section number three, ¿verdad? Para esta semana tenemos que terminar la sección tres. Mm, usando el there is y el there are. Pero me quiero ver si puedo moverlo aquí. Ok, no, no puedo. Ok, so... Here we go. Using there is. There is a high. En español usamos hay para singular y plural. Pero en inglés, para decir hay una cosa, there is. Y para decir hay varias cosas, there are. Is y are. Ah. Is for singular and are for plural. Yes? ¿Me va a decir algo? Sí. ¿Ah? ¿Hola? ¿O oh, no? Nada. Okay, in this one is there is. There is is for singular, there are for plural. One is for, eh, one is para no decir el nombre de un lugar otra vez. Es para reemplazar el nombre de un lugar, one. Any is for, eh, any y son significa lo mismo, algún o algunos o algunas. Pero la diferencia es que mm -hmm. any usted lo utiliza en preguntas y oraciones negativas, any. Y son lo utiliza en oraciones positivas. Aquí tiene el video, ¿verdad? Que le explica ahí. Y tenemos aquí el ejercicio. ¿no? Aquí tenemos otro objetivo. Ajá. There is, there are, one, any, or some. Aquí tenemos el primer ejercicio que es, este ejercicio es según, eh, dice, look up the map, read the question and choose the right place according to the direction given. Usando is there, es en pregunta, en manera de pregunta. En este usamos, déjenme, quiero ver, déjenme ver en el manual. Para explicarle eso. En sí, okay. sí, sí. ah, ah. eh, tenemos este, el de Riz y para explicar, permítanme, que aquí está, ah. miren. De Riz es I, ¿lo pueden ver? Sí, sí. Grammar Focus. De Riz es I y de Rar es I. Este es, hay una cosa, este es, hay varias cosas. 
one para reemplazar el, el nombre. Por ejemplo, is there a landmark near here? Hay una lavandería cerca de aquí. Y yeah, there is. There is one. El one representa el landmark para no volver a decir otra vez. Landmark, landmark, landmark. ¿Verdad? Y yeah, there is. No there isn't. There is one across from the shopping center. But there is one next to the library. Prepositions. On, next to, near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of. In back of, behind, between, on the corner of. Eh, ¿Tiene preguntas con eh, las preposiciones? ¿Tiene alguna question with the prepositions? Pero no questions. On, sobre, next to, next to, right, next to, next to. Eh, near, close, cerca, across from, al cruzar, eh, opposite, opuesto, está al contrario, el opuesto, in front of, enfrente, in behind, in back of, al tras, between, en medio, on the corner of, en la esquina de, ¿verdad? Entonces, any lo utilizamos para preguntas, este any que está aquí, lo utilizamos para preguntas y para oraciones negativas. Y son lo utilizamos para oraciones positivas, pero ambos significan lo mismo. Any y son son lo mismo. <ríe> any for questions and negative, some for positive answers, ¿verdad? Yes, there, are there any grocery store around here? ¿Hay alguna tienda de comida por aquí? ¿Ok? Eh, yes, there are. Sí hay. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Las grocery stores en los Estados Unidos son, son, son puede decirse que son pequeñas. Eh, si usted se va allí a las gasolineras, este, en los Estados Unidos, eh, las, que, las tiendas que están en las gasolineras son grocery stores también. Eh, pero solo que en la gasolinera usted eh, sí encuentra comida, ¿verdad? Pero en las grocery stores usted puede encontrar verduras, puede encontrar comida, puede encontrar... O sea, son tiendas pequeñas, son supermercados pequeños. En la grocery store en los Estados Unidos. Es como un mini super. Son como... Y donde se puede comprar cosas para, para su casa, para llevar... Va a valer un comprado para su casa. Esas son las grocery stores. Ok, uh, vamos a ver. Uh, quiero ver, there aren't. So, eh, la pregunta la hacemos poniendo el is y el are eh, al, al otro lado de la oración, ¿verdad? Ponemos aquí el is y ponemos aquí el are para hacer la pregunta, ¿verdad? Ponemos aquí el are para hacer la pregunta. Is there, are there, recordando que is for singular, are for plural. Is there a laundromat? Are there any grocery stores? Usamos any en este caso para decir algún. Hay, hay algunos eh, tiendas por aquí. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Hay algunas tiendas bonitas o chivas en la Pine Street. No, there aren't, no, fine. But there are some on the Third Avenue. No, there aren't any around. Mira, aquí está otra vez el any que es para oraciones negativas. El any para preguntas y el son para oraciones positivas. Eh, ¿Preguntas? El any está también en preguntas, pero también está en negativo. Uh -huh. Sí. Pero sí, parece que usa con R. No. O también eh, con ver. No, no. Is, is, there, is there any? No, porque como any es plural, es algún o algunos. Is there, no, se puede usar con is, con is, is también. Porque ah. significa algún. Puede ser algún, singular. Algún. Ajá, sí, puede ser singular. Is there any landmark near here? Is there, como any sola, es para preguntas y para negativas. Y el son, que significa lo mismo, es para afirmativas. Sí. Ok, no more questions. No, teacher. Hola. Hello. Teacher, el Juan yeah. sirve para... Para no para volver, a, no a, volver a mencionar el lugar. Ah. El Juan es para no volver a mencionar el lugar en positivas o negativas, incluso en preguntas, ¿ok? Si usted ya menciona un lugar y para no volver a mencionar el nombre del lugar, utiliza Juan. Y si son varios, utiliza Once. O en vez de un objeto, usted puede decir Juan o Once. Por ejemplo... Mm. Eh, ¿Te gustan las galletas? Uh, do you like cookies? Eh, yes, I like the chocolate ones. Sí, me gustan las de chocolate. 
para no volver a decir, sí, me gustan las galletas de chocolate. Entonces, I like the chocolate, chocolate ones. O vanilla ones. Me gustan las de vainilla. I like the vanilla ones. ¿Es clear? Thank you. You're welcome anytime. Entonces, este, para esta semana tenemos que terminar la sección 3 y hacer el examen, ¿verdad? De, de midterm. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, de la unidad 3, esto es más que todo lo pesado. Usar el there is, porque aquí ya no hay más gramática en esta unidad. Entonces, es, ah, bueno, sí, están estos quantifiers. Eh, que esto es lo utilizamos para contables y esto es para incontables, ¿verdad? Usamos many, a lot, a few, me, any, none para contables, y aquí utilizamos para incontables, eh, teniendo en cuenta de que si usamos any, por ejemplo, nos tenemos que fijar que aquí es aren't, para contables se pueden contar, uno, dos, tres, is para incontables, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, por ejemplo, many para contables, match para incontables, a lot se puede usar en los dos, pero igual usamos are y usamos is, ¿verdad? Para a lot. A few, a little. A few es para contables, a little para incontables. Eh, any para ambos, pero podemos usar aren't o isn't. Are o is. ¿Verdad? Aren't para los contables, usando any. Isn't o is con an, any para los no contables. Non lo usamos en ambos, pero igual usamos are, non o is, non. ¿Ok? Eso es lo más que todo, lo más fuerte de la gramática de esta unidad. Eh, no es muy difícil, tan difícil porque son contables, incontables, y lugares, y las proposiciones de lugar. Very distinct, much existente. Ah, ok, ¿en qué parte está esa, Arely, Janet? Very of, very doesn't, Jeff. Ok, sería Jeff doesn't exercise very much. Jeff doesn't exercise very much. Okay. Arely, le quedó, le queda Jeff doesn't exercise very much. Bueno, le voy a responder uh, aquí. Teacher, yo también tenía problemas con esta y la puse así, pero no me la aceptaba. Eh, uh, uh, como les dije la vez pasada, a veces puede ser el apóstrofe que, que no les acepta el apóstrofe así inclinado, sino que tiene que ser el apóstrofe. Eh, ¿Y en qué parte está eso? Para verlo. Que yo no he llegado ahí. <risa> ¿A dónde está? ¿En qué? No se acuerdan en qué punto está. Ok, ahorita me voy a mover a, a la plataforma en, es, en estos minutitos. En un minuto, regálenme un minuto. Give me a second. Está en el. Dos, ¿verdad? Ay, como le digo, en el D, en el D, pero ya del, como en el penúltimo del 3 está. Ah, de la 3. De la 3. Seguro que la 3. Sí. Ah, sí, ah. es como ya la evaluación. O sea que es usted, right, usted va adelantada. Ok, vamos a ver. En la 3.9. There is. No, en esto. There no, is. Ya, ya es más adelante. Más adelante. Es el de, este. ya del, de la evaluación. Ah, okay. bueno. ah, del examen. Ah, usted ya nos dijo que nos pongamos las pilas. Sí, está bien, no hay problema. En el examen está usted ya, entonces. Ok, está bien, no problem. Vamos a ver. Ahorita, ahorita ya solo está cargando. Y, y yo lo hice así como dice la compañerita, pero tampoco me agarró. No sé qué es lo que le puse mal, si es algún ah. espacio, no sé. Eh, en lo pero último no está. Verdad. En lo último. Ajá, es la última. Vale, déjeme, ahorita me está cargando. Ahorita está cargando. Quiero ver. No, este ya es la cuatro. Quiero ver, eh, la 4 es el examen. No, ¿verdad? No, es del 3. Espérame que no lo encuentro. Aquí, es dime. del 3, pero como la, como la evaluación es. No es del listening, ¿verdad? No. Es de. No es de es escoger. De, es, del, es, es, de, es del DAS. Ok, ahorita. Vamos a. Ah, este, mire. Creo que no. Vamos a, ah, el dasen es con dasen. Mire, la respuesta se la voy a mandar aquí. Jeff dasen exercise very much. Vamos a colocarlo. Jeff dasen. Ah, recuerde que la, la, eh, ¿cómo se llama? A ver si me acepta esta, este apóstol. Ok. Dasen exercise. Es que creo que es o algún espacio, pero la cosa es que no lo agarro. Ajá. Uh -huh. Puede ser el apóstrofe. Vamos a ver. 
Ajá, vamos a ver. Eh, le voy a dar, quiero ver, aquí le voy a dar quitar. Pero sí, ya Jeff ya, ya sigue exercise very much. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Solo para mostrarles que, oh, ya, que es este. Rapidito. Ok. A ver, mire. Mire, Jeff doesn't exercise very much. El apóstrofe, en mi caso era el apóstrofe que me lo tiraba, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Me lo tiraba um, inclinado. Entonces, hay de fijarse que el apóstrofe Ay. debe de tirarlo eh, como en línea recta, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya ahí, lo, fijarnos si es... uh, ahí le voy a mandar las respuestas. Para que, eh, solo en esa tiene problemas, en la otra no, ¿verdad? No, yo, yo sí tenía problemas en el... 3.9 en la última parte. En Pero si no se la mando por chat. No, ¿En el examen? Es, no, no era del examen. Ah, el de la otra, de la sección. Mm. De la sección. Pero quizás ha de ser lo mismo del apóstrofe porque intenté ponerlas en diferente y no me las acepta ni una. ¿Tres punto qué es? 3.9. La última parte. 3.9. Ah, aquí está. 3.9. En la última. Vamos a ver. Mm. En la última parte. Eh, en la última parte, este, en la 5. ¿En cuál? Mm. Number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5. Mm. Es donde dice usar el. Is el any? O. Ajá, are in any, is in any, is in any, are in any, is in any. Y en todas, todas tiene... Sí, en todas y probé ponerlas diferente y todo, pero no me las acepto. Yo, yo creo que ha de ser por el apóstrofe. Sí, mm -hmm. ¿Y está desde su, lo hace desde su computadora o desde el teléfono? En el teléfono. Uh -huh. En el teléfono sí le da varias opciones de apóstrofe. Solo le aprieta donde usualmente tiene la... ¿Cómo se llama? Donde usualmente tiene el apóstrofe y ahí le salen más... Ajá. Más opciones de apóstrofe. Ok. Sí, si... Eso es, ya probé. Sí, eso es. Bamba. Bien, pero yo que es ok. Y yo no tengo más preguntas. Ok, bye bye. Bye bye, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Take care. Qué chévere pasó asistencia hoy. Eh, no. ahí, le, le, ahí voy a ver el video y ahí voy a ver este, la. ¿Cómo se llama? Ah, este, la ah ok. Uh -huh. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, bye-bye, see you.